Welcome to another sneak preview of the upcoming update to version 3 of Pianoscope, the professional piano tuning app for iPhone and iPad. Today we are looking at partials. To see what's new, let's activate the partials display. At first glance, there's nothing much new. The title label is gone and there's now a menu button on the right. If we play a note, we see that by default the levels of the first 10 partials are shown above their respective musical notes. And the levels are normalized so that the strongest partial always gets the full height. In version 3, we can now deactivate this normalization to get a better feeling of how the partials are decaying. You see that as the note decays, some partials are decaying faster than others. In the settings, you can now define the minimum decibel level up to which you want to be able to follow decays. Let's increase this to minus 90 decibels. And, uh, oh, sorry, you can now even show a decibel scale. You see the decibel scale. But if you are working on voicing, you may want to see the levels of even higher partials than the 10th. With version 3 you can now do this too. In the settings you can choose the highest partial number to be displayed. Let's choose 25. If you switch to hold mode, you can also replay a bandpass filtered recording of the higher partials. Let's do this. Now Pianoscope freezes the maximum levels and now you can replay a bandpass filtered recording. You hear the beats. But if you watch closely, you'll notice that the 23rd partial is missing. This is because it coincides with its neighbor on the same musical note. To be able to display all partials, you deactivate the key assignment. Now we can even visualize up to 50 partials. Let's increase the count to 50. And we can do this in real time if we want to. And the partial bars automatically change their size to provide the required space. If you connect a pair of headphones to your iPhone or iPad, you can now listen to the bandpass filtered partials in real time. I call this new mode pass-through. You activate it through the tone generation options. If uh, no partial is selected, pass-through simply plays the pure microphone sound through the headphones, like this. But now let's tap on the fourth partial of C2, C4. You see now this partial area is highlighted in gray. If we now play the same note, you hear the bandpass filtered uh, partial in real time on your headphones.
if we lock the note and play an octave interval, we can immediately listen to the isolated beats. So that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by. Stay tuned for part three of the sneak preview of Pianoscope version three. Mm -hmm.